Could Caitlin Clark be getting sabotaged by her own team? Take a look at this play where Katie Lou Samuelson waits for Clark's movement and passes the ball for a perfect shot by the girl. These two have a unique chemistry, but there's a problem. Samuelson only played four minutes in the game against the Storm, while Christy Wallace played 17 minutes and didn't score a single point. This isn't the first time Wallace has shown a subpar performance. In another play, during a game against the Sky, Clark passes the ball to Wallace, who's open but misses the shot. This clearly shows that Christy Sides is benching incredible talents who could be helping Clark shine even more. It's like the fever is actively avoiding putting players on the court who mesh well with Clark. In basketball, this would be unthinkable. When a player shows chemistry with the team's star, they get more time on the court, not less. It's clear that Samuelson and Clark could do much more together, but for some reason, Christy Sides doesn't seem to see it. And who is losing out? The fever, Clark, and of course the fans. But now, let's talk numbers because they don't lie. At the beginning of the season, Katie Lou Samuelson was playing about 25 minutes per game. That's a decent amount of time, but now she's down to just 4 minutes per game. It's an absurd and completely unjustifiable drop. And look, it's not like Samuelson is playing badly. Quite the opposite. She has a 3-point shooting accuracy of 41.5%. That's elite, folks. And her free throws, 94% accuracy. These are the stats of a player who should be on the court, not on the bench. Now, let's compare with other players who are getting more time. We have Christy Wallace, for example, who is playing more, but with much lower statistics. Wallace isn't scoring as much, nor is she grabbing as many rebounds or making as many assists as Samuelson. The most absurd part is that the Fever is paying Samuelson a high salary, close to the maximum allowed in the WNBA. They are literally wasting money by not using her. It's like having a sports car in the garage and choosing to ride a bike. And you know who else is losing out because of this? Caitlin Clark. She could be receiving precise passes, having more space to shoot because Samuelson draws defenders, in short, playing better and more freely. If this continues, I wouldn't be surprised to see Samuelson become one of the best players on another team next season, and that would be a nightmare for the Fever. It's frustrating to see such talent being wasted, especially when we know how much she could contribute to Clark's success and the team as a whole. The Fever's management needs to wake up and realize the mistake they're making before it's too late. But if you think that's all that's happening with the Fever, you're wrong. After the last game, Sides did something that really irritated me. She blamed Caitlin Clark for the team's problems. That's right, she had the audacity to say that Clark needs to be more aggressive and shoot more. But let's be honest here, the problem isn't Clark, it's Sides' strategy. Clark is facing double and triple teams in practically every game. She's being defended extremely intensely. And what is Sides doing to help? Apparently, nothing. The coach isn't drawing up effective plays to free Clark from these intense defense is. She's not using the gravity that Clark brings to the court, meaning all the attention she draws from the opposing defense, to create opportunities for other players. It's like Sides expects Clark to do everything on her own, completely ignoring the fact that basketball is a team sport. She should be creating schemes that take advantage of the attention Clark receives to open up spaces for other players, but we don't see any of that happening. Moreover, the lack of tactical adjustments during games is glaring. When something isn't working, Sides seems to have no plan B. She keeps insisting on predictable and easy to defend plays. The most frustrating part is that the Fever has one of the best players in the league on the team, and the coach seems not to know how to make the most of her. Clark could be dominating games even more if she had an offensive system that supported her properly. It's time for Sides to stop blaming others and start looking at her own decisions. The Fever needs a clear offensive philosophy, creative plays, and a strategy that puts Clark and her teammates in positions to succeed. Until that happens, the Fever will be wasting the incredible talent they have. Think about it. If Clark attracts so much attention, that means other Fever players are getting open, right? But where are the plays to take advantage of that? What we should be seeing are quick cuts to the basket, off-ball movements to create spaces, and quick passes to open players. But no, what we see are predictable and easy to defend plays. It's like the Fever is playing with one hand tied behind their back. Clark has exceptional court vision and is an elite passer. She could be creating incredible opportunities for her teammates if the offensive system was designed for that, but instead, it seems the strategy is simply give the ball to Clark and hope for the best. Imagine how dominant Clark could be if she had a system that truly supported her. She's already amazing doing so much on her own, but with the right plays, she could easily be scoring 30 points per game along with a bunch of assists. It's frustrating to see so much potential being wasted. Clark deserves 
deserves a system that puts her in a position to succeed, that uses her skill to create opportunities for the whole team. Until that happens, the Fever is doing a disservice not only to Clark, but to the entire team and the fans. And it's not just about Clark. Other talented players are being hurt by these decisions. Lexi Hull, for example, plays better defense and has good chemistry with Clark, but she's also getting less playing time than she should. What worries me is that the Fever doesn't seem to value the impact Clark is having on the WNBA. She's not just a talented player. She's a phenomenon that's attracting more attention and fans to the league. But instead of building around her and prioritizing her performance, the team seems to be doing the opposite. It's like the Fever won the lottery with Clark, but is keeping the winning ticket in the drawer instead of cashing it in. They have one of the most exciting players the WNBA has ever seen, but they're not doing what it takes to make the most of that talent. Management needs to wake up and realize what's at stake here. It's not just about winning games now. It's about building a solid foundation for the teams and the league's future. Clark could be the face of the WNBA for the coming years, but for that to happen, she needs a team and management that supports and maximizes her potential. It's time for the Fever to rethink their strategies, both on and off the court. The fans deserve to see the best of Clark and the team as a whole. And frankly, Clark deserves a team that is as committed to success as she is. If things continue this way with the Indiana Fever, we're heading for a disaster. It's not an exaggeration. Think about it. We have Caitlin Clark, one of the most talented players to ever step on a WNBA court, and the team seems determined to waste that talent. What happens if the Fever keeps ignoring the chemistry between Clark and players like Samuelson? And if Christy Sides persists with these strategies that don't make the most of Clark? We run the real risk of seeing Clark's development stagnate. Worse still, we could see her confidence shaken, and it doesn't stop there. If the Fever continues to make questionable decisions, other talented players might start looking for new opportunities on other teams. Imagine Samuelson shining on another team while the Fever struggles to find their rhythm. More concerning is the impact this could have on Clark's career in the long run. She has the potential to be one of the greatest players in WNBA history, but she needs an environment that nurtures her talent. If the Fever doesn't provide that, who guarantees that Clark Clark won't consider other options when she has the chance. And think about the fans. Those who follow every game and cheer for every Clark basket might end up disillusioned. The excitement Clark brought to the league could turn into frustration if we don't see results. The Fever is racing against time. Every game, every wrong decision is taking them further away from what could be a golden era for the team. If changes don't happen soon, we could be witnessing the waste of a unique opportunity in the franchise's history. The question remains, how much longer will it take for the Fever to realize the mistake they're making? And when they do, will it be too late? I hope changes happen soon because despite everything we've talked about, there's still hope for the Indiana Fever. And that hope is called Caitlin Clark. She is the type of player who can change the course of an entire franchise, but the Fever needs to do their part. What do you think? Should Christy Sides be fired or given another chance? Leave your opinion in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the next video.